Hello, I'm Dave. Welcome to my Technical Notes channel. Hello, this project uses an ESP32 or optionally an ESP8266 with a BME280 uh, wind speed sensor and an OLED display to provide a miniature weather station. There is the wind speed sensor running. The BME280 is being read. I've just put my finger on there to show that it is actually moving. It's got date and real time clock that's synchronized with NTP and measures average wind speed. In this case, 1.4, 1.5 miles per hour. The variability in wind speed is from the fan. So there's the wiring diagram for it. It's an I2C bus currently on pin 21 and 22. Parallel up the display and BME 280 and attach a low cost uh, anemometer with on off contacts or sometimes called pulse type or a pulse output. So it can measure the time difference between pulses with the cheaper anemometer they do have suffer from switch bounce and so you may have to add a 0.1 microfarad anti-bounce capacitor across the gpio pin although you can use any gpio pin that's the display format current date which it gets from the way the code is uh, the environment variable is set up and the way that the you can select either metric imperial as i call it or us format or a mixed mode. Uh, date takes care of uh, daylight saving as well. Current temperature from the BME 280, air pressure, relative humidity and wind speed. In the code you can select uh, M for metric mode and it del delivers all of the results and uh, date time in European format. So degrees Celsius hectopascal relative humidity and 1.2 kilometers per hour for wind speed or if you select i for imperial mode or us mode the date is in month day year and 12 hour clock with am pm indicators degrees fahrenheit inches of pressure relative humidity and speed in miles per hour or if you have a mixed mode, which is my preference here in the UK, is to have European date and time format, degrees Celsius, hectopascal, and uh, speed in miles per hour, wind speed in miles per hour. This is its specification. So that re the real time clock is there's an interrupt that runs every second and keeps the clock running, but every hour, currently set to every hour, you can vary that gets a synchronization from the uh, network time servers. Um, the date and time formats can be adjusted to anything you like. It's auto adjusts for daylight saving. Um, so you can select a display format that suits pretty much every region in the world. And it provides the majority of weather data needed for a weather station. The only thing missing from the design is wind direction, but you can buy uh, wind direction sensors with a 0 to 5 volt output and uh, it needs just two lines of code added. One to measure the analog port and then map that port from 0 to 3096 or 95 it's maximum reading to 0 to 359 degrees and then just display wherever you wish on the display, the wind direction, and that will be in degrees. So it's a fairly trivial addition to the unit to add a wind direction. In summary then, uh, it's a miniature weather station that uses a timer and pin interrupts to maximize code efficiency. So when you see the code, there isn't an awful lot to it. It's a, uh, provides you a very accurate real-time clock and uh, weather data is reasonably accurate. I've calibrated mine against the Davis weather station, but you can do that against a local 
uh, weather station for wind speed and uh, direction is absolute if you add that function uh, it's low cost and easy to implement and uh, yes adding wind direction can be can be completed with just two lines of code and and one print statement so maybe three lines of code anyway i hope you found this project useful and interesting and um, if you do build one please enjoy it I hope you found this technical note interesting and useful. 